Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today is a very, very important video. I decided that the very first video of 2020 for my channel was going to be giving back. And so this video, 100% of the proceeds goes to World Wildlife Fund. So please help me by sharing this video. And the other thing is the piece that I made, I decided to call it Koalifications and you'll learn why uh, in the video, but this particular piece will go on auction. Now, anything that I earn from this one, 100% of the proceeds will also go to helping the wildfire. I will be donating myself um, to World Wildlife Fund. So those are two different ways, just by watching this video or also by placing a bid on qualifications. Now, I will be walking you through the entire process of how I made this beauty, and um, the further information will be on my Instagram as well as my Facebook. You can find me just by searching Abstract Boss. Um, on Instagram, it's abstractboss.llc, but if you search Abstract Boss, you'll find me. And so I'm gonna put all the information out on how you can bid for this. I'm gonna keep it open. Um, until the end of February. So that's an entire month that you guys will be able to bid on this so we can make as big of an impact as we possibly can. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and walk through this beauty. I started out drawing a kangaroo, but I just was not liking the proportions. And so when my husband came out to the garage, I asked him what he thought of it and he didn't really like it. So he asked me, well, why don't you draw a koala? And I looked him dead in the face and I said, because I don't have the right qualifications. <laughs> so yeah, that was a good laugh. Um, I did have it recorded, but unfortunately the sound didn't go through. And so you guys didn't get to hear the authenticity of it, but it was hilarious, at least to me. And uh, turns out apparently I do have the right qualifications because that is exactly what I created. So I ended up using this masking fluid to cover, and that's the blue that you see here, and that covers the entire koala as well as that little rock strip that goes in the middle. And it was a new technique that I was trying, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it did not work, uh, so I do not recommend it. And then I did a really pretty blue fluid painting pour, and the reason I did that is because I wanted it to represent the, um, the ocean that surrounds Australia. So here I'm just showing the removal of the tape after the fluid painting is not even uh, fully dry, but at least it's not really moving anymore. It is still very wet though. You could see the shininess on top. And so the idea is that you want to go ahead and peel the tape at that point. I find that that's the best time to get the perfect lines. And so that's what I'm doing here. Now, afterwards, this is where I'm trying to remove the masking fluid. Ugh. Now, <laughs> this did not turn out well at all. So I ended up having to bring an X-Acto knife and cut through the paint and just peel it up. So it did peel up a little bit, but not enough to actually worry about doing it for the koala. So I had to hand draw the koala again. Now, before beginning anything, you after you hand draw everything, you wanna make sure that you are cleaning it with baby powder because once you pour the resin on it, you're gonna have a lot of issues with that silicone reacting. So I went ahead and showed you how I am cleaning it with the baby powder so that way if you guys are trying to recreate anything similar to this at home, then you know it is such an important step you do not wanna miss. Now I have this faux gold leaf. Um, now most gold leaf is fake anyways but um, this particular one I think was very cheaply made. Now, the reason I still use it though is because I love the color that it gives. It's a very good champagne gold, and the issue that I have with it though is no matter how you clean it, how you apply it, it flakes off and kind of creates a bunch of glitter on the background. With this, I'm totally okay with that, which is why I went ahead and utilized this within my um, koala. 
Now, I just decided to hand paint with a paintbrush the Mona Lisa size, and that is, it has to be fully dry before you lay down any gold leaf. And as the gold leaf is laying down, I just make sure that I am pressing it in and getting it to all the tacky parts that are there. And then I'm just going to gently rub it off with a um, makeup brush. Now, because I had to expose the wood in the middle, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and line that with glitter. So I'm just utilizing a glitter ornament adhesive and it is extremely liquid. So the issue with it is you have to be very, very careful and you have to work in layers and you have to let it fully dry. It does not dry super quick and so you really wanna make sure that you are allowing the time for it to dry before you try to knock off any of that glitter. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a really good color. So I worked in different parts here and I utilized a teal color glitter to complement the fluid painting background. Okay, so now that the glitter and the initial layer of the gold leafing are done, um, I went ahead and did my border of gold leafing and I do this on like all of my wood pieces. I just love it. I think it gives it a really cool abstract appearance and just kind of brings the eye to the focus, which I love. Before you begin any type of resin, you wanna go ahead and tape off the back so you don't have any issues. I did two inner layers of tape because I have had some of the resin creep down enough to where it goes past that first layer and then it's stuck on that wood and then you have the not so professional appearance on the back and I did not want that. Okay, so now's the time for the resin. I do not wanna do the next layer of lines. I want to make sure that I have the resin down and the reason I do this is so that way, if I need to erase my lines, I can do that. And what I mean by erase is I actually hand painted them with alcohol ink and so I erased them by using alcohol until I got the right appearance that I wanted for my piece. Now, um, I did originally draw them out here with the oil pen and the trick that I had learned was you can utilize olive oil to erase it but it was very difficult to do on an actual fluid painting background. I'm very lucky that it did come off otherwise I would have had a super wonky koala but um, I did get it to come off and so um, I did utilize that on the layer of resin this time kind of draw out lines and see whether or not I would like it and it turns out I loved it so I erased it all with the olive oil and I show you that here it takes a little bit of elbow grease and then you get to it super easily and then I hand painted with the alcohol ink and I did utilize a darker gold than the koala and the reason I did that is because my husband made a really good point of not being able to see some of the lines uh, of the actual koala like the leg or the face because of the gold being the same color so I went ahead and did a different gold so that way they would stand out from each other All right, that's the making of Koalifications. So make sure you head on over to my Facebook. You could just search Abstract Boss and you will find me or my Instagram, abstractboss.llc, and you will get all the information on my finished Koalifications post on how to bid for this piece so that way we can help make a difference with World Wildlife Fun. Now that everything is done, let me know in the comments below what your favorite animal is because I am looking for some more colorful inspiration to do with my next glitter projects. I have a lot of things that are coming out. They are a little bit slow rolling because I have two additional children that are staying in my home now. Um, but just be patient with me and I will get things rolled out as soon as I possibly can. And I will keep you guys updated on my Instagram mostly, but I will also cross share over onto Facebook for things that I just know you guys have to hear. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button and make sure you click the bell notification. So that way, when I do go live painting my lion, you will be notified and every time I get to work on it, I'm going to go live and that way you will be able to talk with me, ask me any questions that you want and we'll just hang out, chit chat or not. Just listen to some great music and do some artwork. 
So don't forget, click the bell, and I will also have a lot more how-tos coming up, especially working with glitter and resin and gold leafing, all the things that seem to make our resin want to fight with us. So make sure you guys stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.